My name is Kat Babano, and I am a scientist. I was born and raised here in Oakland, California. I grew up watching Bill Nye, The Science Guy. He was my favorite program when I was in elementary school, and he opened my eyes to the world of science. I've always had the question of why, why this, why that, why do things happen? And science is the way to answer those questions. I graduated from Encinal High in Alameda. I graduated top 10% of my class and got a full academic scholarship to Stillman College in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. I graduated with a bachelor's in biology and I graduated cum laude. I was also able to do an internship at the University of Alabama in herpetology where I worked with the diamondback water snake and the python. Two years later, I got another internship in neurobiology at the University of Vermont. There I studied three-day-old chicken embryos in which I would cut the shell open and take out the neural tube. I went and worked for veterinarians for about six years. I've always wanted to stick with working with animals and working in the science field. I received my master's in biology at Cal State East Bay in Hayward, California. I decided to take my love of science and combine it with media to share with families and youth all the great aspects of being a scientist. I talked to the girls and they had to guess what job I did. And nobody thought I was a biologist. And that is the point that I would like to change. So what I was, am working for and working towards is science media and to change the perspective of what we look like in science. I decided to start a YouTube channel where I've interviewed quite a few people about the jobs that they do and in hopes for getting our youth talking about careers they can have if they go into the STEM fields. I was offered a internship at KQED, which is a PBS channel, and I have been working in the science department to help get some of their material out to the public like you. What I would like to do is give viewers an opportunity to see what type of jobs there are if you decide to go into science, technology, engineering, and math. I have a segment on television called A Cat Knows, and this segment mixes pop culture and science. I cover a variety of topics such as, you may know Michelle Obama's Get Out and Move initiative, but what you may not know is what happens to you when you sweat. It's because the hypothalamus area of your brain is telling your body you're getting too hot, sweating, and the science of certain music icons. I think science is amazing. You can use science to discover different things about yourself, about the world around you, and about the stars that's outside of our world. You never stop learning when it comes to your passion. And since science is my passion, I continue to grow each and every day. Working with different individuals in STEM, I'm also introduced to things in technology, engineering, and math that wouldn't have come to surface if I wasn't talking to the different people I've met over this time. I admire Bill Nye, the science guy, Carl Sagan for the work he did with Cosmos, and Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson for his continual work with the Cosmos show, Dr. Stephen Hawking with his perseverance and teaching us physics and all about the universe. Jack Hanna, because I grew up watching him and all the work that he did with the animals and teaching us about conservation and why we should care about the animals that share the earth with us. Dr. Mae Jemison for the work she's done in her field, as well as being the first African-American woman to go into space. You can check me out on television with a cat nose, on YouTube with In the Know with Cat Bobino, and at my website, catbobino.com. I'm Cat Bobino, and I am a scientist. <laughs>